community together with students from University of Dayton's Ethos program. And it's targeted to help the average Ghanaian move from one point to the other, especially with commuting to work and going to the malls or doing simple grocery shopping. Some of the features of the bike are triple shock absorption because of the regular terrain in Ghana that you'd find yourself riding on. We have cruise control where you set a cruise speed that you'd like to move at and the bike just maintains that speed throughout and a couple of other things like ambient light control and night riding mode. An interesting thing about our company and its philosophy is the shared technology across all our products. And so the controllers that run the electric bike were initially designed to run electric wheelchairs, which shows that if it's able to run a medical device safely, you are safe using it. Currently, we have a test-driven model where about 25 testers have used our bikes to do simple errands and go from place to place. And based on the results of our tests, we have refined our products such that now we have a small-scale manufacturing plant where we are able to make about 100 electric bikes a week. In five years' time, we see ourselves spearheading the global market and being the leading producer of assistive mobility devices here in Africa. Join us on our journey to revolutionize mobility devices across Africa